Good morning, my friends, or afternoon. <laughs> Past 12 o'clock. We went out for a hike today. Yes, we did. And uh, I had gone hiking with some friends two times last week. And uh, I started having a little bit of hip pain, a little bit of knee pain again. But um, I rested and uh, we went to another site because the site that we went to the first uh, time this morning, uh, I think it's called the Audubon, it was closed. They closed on Mondays. I didn't know that. So we went to another one. And uh, we were determined that we were going to get our hiking in. <laughs> and we did. So, oh my goodness, I'm working on these legs. Um, I'm four and a half years out, I think. Yep, March the 23rd, 2011. So close to two and a half. And uh, so I'm getting excited for my five year anniversary. <laughs> it's still a ways. But um, I was watching the Naked uh, Truth last night, and they had some awesome speakers. Jennifer is over it, and it was real good. I was trying to comment. It would not let me comment. It wouldn't even let, let them see that I was even there. But believe me, I was watching y'all. Love y'all. Pete was on there. Scott was on there. Oh, I can't think of that young lady. Sorry. I do remember Jennifer because she's over it. Oh, I can't think of her name. Cindy? I think it was Cindy. I could be wrong. But anyway, go, go and watch it. It's called The Naked Truth. And it was really good last night. They talked about protein working out, even when you're in pain, Pete was talking about that, you really want to work around the actual pain, I mean, I mean, of course you're not going to go crazy and do like squats and stuff like they were saying, no, but you still want to be able to work the joint, the <clears throat> that uh, part of your body that's hurting, and that is so true, okay, just saying, that is so true, um, I started having some hip pain after that hiking last week. And I was like, great. So I would, I, I couldn't, I couldn't distinguish. Was it, was it hip pain, or was it, uh, uh, what's they, what do they call it, uh, rheumatism? No. Uh, oh, I can't. With the uh, sciatic nerve. So I thought, I've never had this pain before, so I can't tell you exactly what it could have been. So my husband started stretching me out. Now. We do our stretches before we work out and afterwards. It's very important to do your stretches. So, um, in the evenings after, you know, because I still get on that bike. Like, after this, this is not, I'm not, we're not done. My husband's already out there doing his regular workout uh, with weights. I'm not too much into weights right now. I should be by now, but I just can't get it. I can't get into it. I still do my biking, my gazelle, uh, my walking. Uh, I do a lot of, uh, the doctor had me off from going outside to do the walking, but now he's released me to do it. So we decided, I decided that I want to do some hiking before I got out there and actually started walking because it's all doggone hot out here. Even the hiking area that we went to has a lot of shade. And I'm, look, I'm really red. And uh, it'll still get you. But we went early. And, um, excuse me. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, for those that have slacked off, you know, on the workout and stuff, you're going to feel it when you try to go back. I'm sure you're already feeling it for those that have just gotten back. So, um, I was only off, I really wasn't even, I can't say that I completely stopped working out. I'll be lying if I just said that because I still did the bike. I still did Leslie Sansong. I still did my stretches. So my body is still used to working out. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's just hot outside, you know, when you're trying to get some work, a good workout. Um, but of course we take plenty of water. I don't want to make this any longer, but what I'm trying to say, I know a lot of people are struggling right now with the workout and they're and you're struggling with eating and everything. All I can say, and Jojo just said said very good, Jody. And I've always said the same thing. 
If you ain't got it in your house, you ain't going to eat it. Do not buy it. Go back to the beginning of what your doctor said. Look at your papers. See what you were eating back in the day. Go back to that. Um, to this day, protein is first for me. Um, me and my husband, I, I, I don't have it that I don't have it that difficult because uh, he basically eats the same thing I eat. Uh, he eats. Uh, he can put in more vegetables than I can. Uh, they're kind of heavy on my chest and you know my belly. Still to this day, I mean, I try to get as much veggies in, uh, but uh, yeah. So um, mm, we all struggle with that weight going up. It creeps up. But just when you know that you're getting to a number that you ain't comfortable and your clothes ain't fitting you right, only advice I can tell you is go back to number one. Go back to the beginning. So um, I don't want to be on here <laughs> preaching to nobody because I'm preaching to myself too. So um, I'm working on my legs, like I said, and I'm really trying to get those to go down. I don't know if they'll ever go down. You know, it's like Alfred says, honey, it's in your gene. I've been big all my life. So my body, oh God, that, that sweat is getting in my eye and it's burning the heck out of me. I'm sorry. Uh, my body doesn't know <laughs> what to go back to. I was never small. So uh, it just knows, you know, I guess where I'm at right now. But uh, I'm not going to let that defeat me. I'm going to keep going. And uh, this journey ain't over until it's over, until it's you are out of this world. So uh, you just got to keep trucking, put one step in front of the other one, and keep doing it. Don't give up on yourself. That's the one thing I'm going to say. Don't give up on yourself. Uh, and don't compare yourself to somebody else. You know, we all do it. We all say, well, I'm going to start this diet because this diet worked for this person. And if it worked for her, it's going to work for me. Not necessarily. You got to remember, not necessarily, you know. So uh, you just got to keep, you know, doing what you, you were ta taught to do. Um, I get up every morning. First thing I take, my vitamins. They're right there on my dresser. That's the first thing I get up. When I get up, I get those. I've already got them in a little container. I know all my pills are right there. And I get my water, pop them in my mouth. I do make my coffee. Because I want to relax. My morning is, you know, it's just quiet and it's just me. My husband is still asleep at the time. Because I get up earlier than he does. And, um, you know, it's just nice to meditate and be by yourself at times. But anyway, I don't want to make this any longer than what it is. But, uh, yeah, uh, today's Monday. So we're going to try to hike and walk the rest of the week. So on Friday... I'll let you know how it went for with me since I haven't been hiking every single day and I haven't been outside every day in a while. But we do our workouts here at the home, at the house. So um, I'm ready to get... I, I enjoyed today. I even fell, people. <laughs> yes, I did. We were going up a hill and boom, my foot got in between a, 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 a tree bark or not bark, a, a, oh, the root. And it went, and I went, whew. so thank God my husband was behind me, grabbed me, but uh, I, I hit that ground, but I, I, but he was able to whew, get me up faster than he ever had before, <laughs> I have to say plus one to that. All right, everybody, have a great week, and we will see you on Friday, Lord willing. All right, God bless. <laughs>